Hey everybody, this is Billy at Baker's Hill Tough, and we're out here today. I got something really cool for you guys now. Uh, we've got uh, Jasmine Miles, right? Yes. Rachel Rodriguez, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you guys actually contacted me a while back about maybe wanting to do something on bows, right? And right. not the kind of bows you put in your hair, but we're talking <laughs> about bows you shoot. Right. Right? And that's what we're here today. We're gonna, you guys are going to show us it, we're going to look at it, and kind of do a demo and all that good stuff, right? Yeah. Now let, let me start with uh, Rachel. How long have you been into uh, bows? Uh, I started uh, a little over a year ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. But same for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, now, what made you guys get into it? I mean, like, I, I would imagine you guys have shot guns before, yeah, right? Of course. Yeah. So, but why bows? Uh, well, bows you have to have so. I don't want to put down guns because I mean guns are so much fun and also require a lot of effort. But bows, it's a whole different world because. Not only do you have to be closer, um, but you also have to work on yourself, and it's just, it's a whole other world, a whole other high. How, what's the, uh, how close, how far can you be, or like how close do you have to be to like game, usually? Um, anywhere from, well, right up on you to, um, usually up to 100 yards. Wow. You can get 100 yards, you, you can get 100 yards with the bow? Yeah. No way. Yep. Wow, I can't wait to see it. Okay. But you so, have to have a certain amount of poundage in order to reach that. But yeah. by legal standards, you have to be able to, um, to to fly your arrow in order to have it to the correct poundage. Okay, well, we're going to take a look at everything, right? Yep. yep. All right, cool. Okay, so here we are. We've got a, this is a bow, right? And uh, now is this, you talk about poundage and stuff like that. I mean, are there different size bows or? Well, there's, there's different types of bows. There's a compound bow, which this is. Okay, this is a compound. Yes. Okay. Um, there's a recurve mm -hmm. and then there's just the plain long bow. Now, why would they call this a compound bow? Because of these cams right here, which okay. mine's a dual cam. So this one right here? Yep. No, well, they're both cams. So if it has a, if it has a cam, it's considered a compound. Right. Okay. And there's different size cams, is that wrong or right? Um, there's different size cams and there's also a solo cam and then there's, there's a dual cam. Okay. And I would, uh, these have like a, a different shape to them. Are they all the same shape or are they change? Um, depends on the bow. Um, the reason why that they're different shape like that is all by um, like the maker because, you know, whoever thinks they have the straightest. Yeah. Okay. And what's the line made out of? Just regular little string. Uh, the if you fill it, you can fill the wax. It gets waxed regularly. Oh, okay. So you wax them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Okay. And can you hold it up? Can we see how you would actually hold this thing? Okay. Right here, there's a. You have your wrist link, which okay. that protects the bow from falling out of your hand. Okay. Um, and all you have to do is just you have to be able to hold the grip, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Now I see one of the things that's pretty tricky on this is these these sights, right? Mm -hmm. and, they almost look like they're lit up, but I guess they're not. But uh, what is that? I mean, like, there's different colors and... Right, there's different colors for, for different reasons. The go back down this way. Yeah. The, uh, the first little light, the green light right there, that's yeah. 20 yards. Okay. Second is 30. Oh, wow. 40, 50, and 60. Oh, wow. So those are like, the, that's how far you're away. Yeah. Oh, wow. And you line it up, so you just line the target up with that dog? Right, or? with my peep sight. Okay, so this is the peep sight. Yes. That's this right here? Yep. Wow. Okay. It's cool. Yeah. Awesome. And you and how how many yards you say you can knock this thing? <laughs> uh, well, with my bow, um, I only have pins for up to six yards, but I can nail six yards. Okay. And you said now let's look at the uh, let's look at the arrows. Can we look at the arrows of over course. here? Okay. And uh, there's because there's different kinds, right? I'm gonna imagine this is like a target. Am I or is this? Yeah, this has the field tip. It's a field tip. It's on called it. field tip. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then there's, is this what you would use on a hunting though? No. no. What you would use on a hunting is right here. And this is called a broadhead. Broadhead, okay. Mm -hmm. Is there much different on the um, on the arrow other than the head or is it pretty much just the tip that it's changes? It's just the, dip, the tip that changes. The reason why this is so it's more um, humane yeah. for the animal because it'll kill them quicker. Wow. It looks like little razor blades, right? I mean, they are razor blades. They're like razor blades, right? Uh -huh. Now, how, like, well, this, how is, how does this kill compared to like a bullet? Um, well, the difference between this is, um, is when this gets shot through the animal. Yeah. Um, while they take off to go run, what it does is the weight of them running sits there and slices up the organs. Oh, uh, okay. So it makes them bleed. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Now we have a different kind of bow over here, right? Is this the, is this the kind of the same kind of thing, but just a different version or? Yeah. Mine's the girly version. Just the girly version? <laughs> we have the same thing. Yeah. Um, I have a Bowtet. Okay, why don't you go ahead and hold that and let's let's see how you... Yours is the math. 
Now, do you guys, is there competitions and stuff for this? Or, I mean, do they have that or is it strictly just hunting? Um, no, we have competitions. Um, actually, one of the competitions that I did was at my uncle's. He has um, some land up in Tehachapi and we just get all the family together and yeah. just basically compete for who's the best. <laughs> what, what are the rules as far as like where you can shoot these? Because we talked about that a little bit. I mean, we're here a little bit, right? We're on the outskirts of the right um you cannot do it's it's just basically honestly it's like having a gun really if you can't take a gun somewhere then you can't take a bow okay yeah. very cool so it's not yeah all right cool all right so let me see so this is the same kind of deal right yep basically the same setup now what is this what is this thing right here am i oh it's your a wrist release, okay yeah, yeah it's, okay and then you, you get pull the back with this yep yeah and that's then cool. the 20 yards is the well, top how, how do you know like how far back to pull uh, is there something on there that tells you, okay, this is like, or do you pull back you the pull same it amount? all the way back, right? No, well, when sure. they're setting up the bow, it's it depends because I'm not everybody has the same arm length. Okay. Yeah. Um, like she has a longer arm length by an inch than I do. Do you so, want to pull it back as far as you can? You need to pull it back as far as you can for your arm. So if I was to pull her bow back, it'd be back further past like my towards my ear, right, and you here. want it back towards your lip. Yeah. Okay. So you, you actually hold it, and you hold the hold that thing up to your cheek. Is that where you do? Is that like? Yeah, most people put them right here, up to their lip. Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, if you look on my bow right there, there's a kisser button, mm -hmm. and that's usually where you can indicate where to. And that's the pink one. This right yeah. here. Yeah, and you usually line it up right with your lip. Okay. Well, cool. Now you guys are going to show us. Now we're out here, and we actually have we got a target out there, right? We got a yeah. deer. Mm -hmm. And how many yards do you think you guys will be able to hit that at? Oh, uh, should be able to hit it up to. 60. No way. Well, me and her haven't shot for <laughs> yeah, a while. It's, it's been a couple season, months. So. All right, well, what about, we'll just see what we can do. We'll start closer and then kind of back up till we're not hit anymore. <laughs> I don't know how this works, but all right, cool. Good. You guys can show it? All right, cool. Now, how much does wind play into this? I mean, do you have to play, if it's a little breezy, do you have to play into that at all? Oh, or? That's a big factor um, because um, obviously you got your fins right here and that could always make a big difference. The fins on the arrow on the arrow itself? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, or veins. They're also called veins. Are, um, is fin design universal? I mean do are there different styles and Yeah, there's different um, sizes like um mine are two inch veins. She has four inch veins. Um what does the vein do? It's it's what causes it to spin. Oh, they okay. also have feather veins and you know like the older school classier um uses the feather. Right. So the arrow actually spins as it goes to the target? Yes. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. See it. Now, do you want the deer or the box? Uh, give me a deer shot. Bingo, right? Okay. Now, when you're shooting a deer, uh, you said uh, it's important. You, of course, you want to go for the vitals, right? On right. an arrow. You want to hit the heart or the lungs. Okay. Wow. Okay, so this is at 20 yards, right? Right. Are you guys going to keep trying to go back? Or? Yeah, we're going right. to keep going back. Let's do it. All okay. Got it right in the heart. Wow. Next one. Okay, now we're, we're back here at, uh, is this 50 yards? Yep. Man, this is far. I can't believe we're going to hit this. Okay, here we go. I'm going to attempt. Attempt to hit it. Okay. Oh man, first try. Man, two for two. Rock solid, man. Showing me up. Man. <laughs> okay, now we're back here now, right? This is six. Have you ever hit 60 before? Uh, plenty of times. Plenty of times? Yep. Man, okay, we're back here, man. I can't believe that thing's gonna. Got it. And you say your personal best is what? Um, I got up to 70. Wow. Man. Man. Oh, Unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> now we're back. How far are we right now? We're 70 yards. And this is kind of like your personal best, right? I mean, you've got back every, I mean, you've done 70, but. Once, yeah. But not live, right? No, never live. <laughs> okay, so we're back. I can't Thanks believe for the pressure. <laughs> I can't believe there's even a chance of hitting that thing from here, but man, 
Okay. We won't know until we try. All right. It's my practice one anyway. I think you got it. <gasps> wow. 70 yards. That feels pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. My heart will start beating again. Okay, well, I want to thank uh, Rachel and Jasmine. It's been fun. I mean, I, I'm totally impressed with what you guys did out here today, and I'm sure a lot of girls will think this is very cool, and guys will think it's cool, too. And I'm, I'm sure if you, anybody has any question about, uh, you know, archery, they can contact you on Facebook, right? Oh, I'm oh, sure yes. you guys would love to help them out and stuff like that. And Yeah, that's cool. I want to thank Jasmine. I want to thank Rachel. This has been a lot of fun. This is Billy. This is Bakersfield Tough. Mm -hmm.